two of our new little mini-series about asking various different questions to hopefully breed organic conversation that may help you guys or may give you a little insight into something. So, five minutes is the cover. The question is, Olympic lifting, is it worth it? Three, two, one, go. Oh, great question. What a fat question. Um, yes, I, I mean, I see a lot of value in it, and I see a lot of value in it for competitive athletes, competitive athletes who rely on a lot of what we call triple extension. So simultaneous extension of the ankle, the knee and the hip because they are running and jumping. Also those athletes who are having to stop and change direction. I think it has huge amounts of benefit. If you look at the, um, and I'm not fully up to date with all of the latest research on it, but if you look at the power outputs that are generated during those Olympic movements, that you, know, you can generate you know, really, really high levels of power. Um, and, um, and I think you take, for example, a power clean, you've got flexion, extension, flexion, extension, you're accelerating, but then as you catch the bar, you're decelerating and then accelerating again. That has a lot of carryover to a lot of sports, a lot of running sport athletes. Okay, so, example, there's a club we work with. Yes. We get them for 90 minutes in a week. Their sport is like power endurance. Yep. Are you going to use, is Olympic lifting the right thing for them? No. Why? Because you've got so many athletes yeah. and Olympic lifting is way more technical. If, if, for those that haven't done it, Olympic weightlifting is way more technical than anybody ever appreciates. It's incredibly technical to do very but well. Do you not think that is an added bonus of it? The coordination and understanding think, of where yes, everybody is? Yes, absolutely. But when you've got 90 minutes and 20 athletes in front of you, because of the technical skill component, you can't look after 20 athletes. Yeah. And so I would do um, Olympic lifting variations and scaled, scaled versions with individual athletes. So if I've got yeah. a small group or an individual, whether they're young or a senior athlete, um, I will look to use Olympic lifting. For those athletes, I can coach jumping yeah. and landing. So I can still get some triple extension work in there with them. There's also resourcing it. And um, you know, so those big group environments, unless you're in a pro club where you've got several platforms and several opportunities a week to, to visit the topic, um, I, don't, I don't think you get enough bang for your buck. And I think you can get more out of teaching them to jump, land, accelerate, decelerate. Cool. Do you think, what in the case in the scenario where someone is, an athlete is married to the idea of, or a coach is married to the idea of, the ideals of Olympic lifting? How would you approach that? Do you think, is there a middle ground? Or do you think, so, is, um, so I know where I stand on this. So I stand, it's like, if there's an athlete who's married to the idea of Olympic lifting, or a coach or whatever it is they want you to, for me, there are certain variants, like a hang high pull, or a hand clean, hand power clean. Are they extra extension? Yes. Are they decelerating? Yes. Can I coach them that in a relatively short amount of time? Okay, the elbows don't drive all the way through to the top and the bar's not sitting perfectly across their collarbones. Um, they might have, they're not coming all the way as far forward over that bar as I want them to at the bottom. But they've got a violent triple extension, a rapid turnover of the arms, and they're safe. And they're safe. Yes. Do you see it as being worth it then, and would you split a class? No, not a class, a group. In that group scenario, you've got 20 athletes. Okay. You have three or four exceptional athletes who are married to the idea of Olympic lifting. Do I think them? that environment... And 60 seconds to you've answer got, that. You've got to look a little bit broader there in a team environment. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to... Um, if you've got three or four exceptional athletes, then those three or four exceptional athletes, personally, I would try and steer towards getting a separate session. In the group environment of their team or the context of their squad, I think you want everybody in there together to a point. Yes, you might have various levels of performance and therefore various scaling of different exercises, but you want that whole team together. Because there is that aspect to SSC coaching as well, maintaining team cohesion. Yeah. 
um, and I think I would steer those away to a separate session. Um, I think medicine ball, kettlebell, kettlebell variations as well are extremely simple to bring in um, for those athletes as, as well. So it comes down to bank your body. Absolutely. If the time and the position allows, yes. Absolutely. Um,